Hi friends, happy Thursday. This week we've been learning all about different symbols of freedom. And yesterday we explored a bald eagle. And today we're gonna learn a little bit more about that. Today we're gonna read a story called, Is a bald eagle really bald? Our class is having a visitor today. Miss Patel makes us guess who. Our visitor eats fish, she hints. Is it my dad? asks Annabelle. No, says our teacher. It has a sharp beak and feathers. Joshua guesses. Is it a duck? No, it is a bird. What do you see on this dollar? asks Miss Patel. This is a dollar bill. Do you know what's on a dollar bill? A bald eagle, says Rose. That's right, Em, answers Miss Patel. Did you know that there's a bald eagle on a dollar bill? Why is a bald eagle on the dollar? asked Natalie. The bald eagle is a symbol of our country. What country do we live in? America. What is a symbol? asked John. Maybe you could help John out. Can you tell John what is a symbol? A symbol is something that stands for something else, answers our teacher. Like a bear is a symbol of our school. We call the bear our mascot, which is like a symbol. We learned that eagles have been symbols in other places too. They appeared on coins long time ago in Greece and Rome. The bald eagle is also on the great seal, Miss Patel tells us. A seal is visiting too, Lucas? No, Luke, our teacher laughs. The great seal is a picture. It is a way to show that something is officially American. We learned that the Great Seal has been on money and stamps. It's also on the government buildings and important papers. Some soldiers have Great Seal on the buttons of their uniforms. The Great Seal has been a symbol of the United States. Look closely at the Great Seal, says Miss Patel. What is a bald eagle holding in its feet? I see a plant, says Karen. Right, says Miss Patel. It's an olive branch. It stands for peace. I see arrows, says Noah. The arrows are for strength, explains Miss Patel. Why are there stars on the top, asks Kevin. There are 13 stars, says Miss Patel. That's because our country started out with 13 states. How many states do we have now? 50, and there are 50 stars to present 50 states. Knock, knock, a woman walks in with a big box. Looks like my dog's kennel, whispers Sophia. Hello, class, says the woman. I'm Dr. Kelly. I brought a bald eagle to meet you today. His name is Sam. We all have to sit still so we don't scare Sam, but Dr. Kelly puts on the glove to protect your hand from the bald eagle's feet. Dr. Kelly takes Sam out of the box. He's huge, says Kyra. Jackson pipes up. Didn't you say he was bald? Good question, says Dr. Kelly. The bald part of its name comes from the word piebald. It means having bald marks. We admire Sam's white and brown feathers. Sam's bright yellow eyes watch us. Bald eagles have very good eyesight, says Dr. Kelly. Did you know that bald eagles have really good eyesight? We learned that eagles are not picky eaters. They eat fish, birds, small mammals, snakes, turtles, and even dead animals. Why is the bald eagle our country's mascot, asks Harry. I know, says Lily, because they fly free and Americans are free. Good answer, says Miss Patel. Also, bald eagles live only in North America. All right, everyone, we're out of time. Our teacher says, line up for lunch. Fish is on today's menu. Hey, that's what bald eagles like to eat. What do we tell Dr. Kelly and Sam, Miss Patel asks. Thank you, Dr. Kelly. Goodbye, Sam. We all sing together. The end. 
Silva Mobis, do you remember what a bald eagle is a symbol of? Freedom. What are some other symbols that we've learned about this week that also stand for freedom? We learned about the flag, remember? F is for flag, F is for freedom. So we learned about the flag. We learned about the Statue of Liberty, the Liberty Bell, the bald eagle. And today I'd like to tell you about something new. So after you watch this video, we're gonna watch another video with another symbol of freedom. Enjoy Bumblebees.